What's poppin' internet? Welcome to another episode of the Synced Up Podcast, a show where we talk to you about news, games, and sandwich a little fun in between. I'm one of your hosts, Timothy DeRoe, and joining me this week is your boy. This your boy. Michael Clare. How you doing? I'm doing good. Sponsored by Coke Zero Sugar. And McCafe, bro. I, I took this cup from your cupboard. Yeah. My cupboard. Your cupboard? What do you call it? The fucking cabinet. But no, it's the same. Like it's, I know, but who says cupboard? Where the fuck we at? Britain, dude? <laughs> no, hold up. No, we're not starting off with this, bro. Hold up. It's covered a, uh, uh, so, man, it's your cupboard. Hey, man, you, uh, the, the little boy on the cupboard. Cupboard good Gryffindor. Cupboard versus cabinet? I'll shoot your cupboard. Sure, okay. Hey, man, uh, was, it was, I, I got this here. My cafe. Shut That's up. your cupboard. Hey, hey, bro. Is, hold up. I just, is cupboard... Is cupboard regional a British word? The number one before you Whoa, finish hold that hold shit. Hold <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Closet is usually the word used for American English. Both Americans and Brits use cabinet for hanging cupboards with shelves, especially in kitchen cabinet or bathroom cabinet. Listen, bro. This is my cupboard. It's literally the place you put the cups. It's the cupboard. I got this out. She cupboard. I don't want to record no more, bro. <laughs> I'm done, bro. Hey, I'm just. I was gonna say your cup's nice, but you thank know. you. I don't no, know what fucking cup I that don't, is. No, don't, don't say thank was you. Was that your favorite? It's or not no? a compliment no more. No, it's, it's an insult. Is your it? cup sucks. Oh, okay, it's bad. I mean, yeah, I think this is a bad cup. It's very skinny and it's too thick. It is pretty thick. It's a, like a thick cup. It's but I feel like it's keeping thick. my water cool. I feel like that's all in your head. It might be, but that doesn't mean just because it's in my head don't mean it's real. Sure, that's my reality. <laughs> See, that's the problem with with modern day society. No, the problem with modern day society. Never mind. <laughs> let's, not get, let's not get into it. No, let's not talk about it. Today, we're going to talk about some PlayStation stuff. We're going to talk about some Game Pass stuff. We're going to talk about some Marvel stuff. We're going to talk about some sad stuff. And we're going to talk about some CD Projekt Red stuff. How does that make you feel? I just want to talk about Nightwall. We'll get there. It's in there. That's I just the sad wanna... stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what they call the sad stuff. Yeah. Is, Ace, is Ace chewing on a plastic wrapper right now? Man, he's having the time of his life. Yeah, it sounds like Ace is chewing on a plastic wrapper Let right him now. Life. Mm, he's killing that shit. Hey, man, just, you know, he's vibing. But That's he's vibing. literally your fault. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Sure. Pissing me off. Anyway, time to get into the show. Let's 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 hit the shit. Let's, let's hit get the shit. Let's get the shit. Top of let's the morning. The shit. Top of the morning. So, at the Dang top of the show, we want to talk about God of War Ragnarok, of course, drops tomorrow for you guys listening to this. Or if you're in New Zealand, that shit's dropped already. Now, I have an urge... Tomorrow, I can play God of War tomorrow mm-hmm. if I make a new account and set the region to New Zealand and buy it on there. And honestly, I'm thinking about doing it. Don't do it. A whole day early? Because you're going to platinum this game. Yeah, but I don't think I care about being like, oh, the platinum is on. I, I'll just say I got the platinum. And then if people don't believe me, I'll just be like, sorry, I guess, but I got the mm-hmm. platinum. Mm-hmm. It's a whole day early. I can play. What am I doing tomorrow? Nothing. Nothing. I ain't doing shit. Don't you got work? Yeah, but after work, nothing. Mm. Nothing. You're gonna be busy. I can. Pl- yeah, but that's yeah, it. You get a haircut. I'm just getting a haircut, and that's all. That's nah, gonna take and a. And I'm much chilling. Today. It's a long process. And I could play it a whole day. He's gonna get the haircut, and then shower. A whole yeah. day early, bro. Take his time. Come on, dude. A whole day early. Take his time. That's pretty good. Never mind. Maybe I hit up Cena because he knows a guy at GameStop. Maybe I can get an early physical cop. Well, that's I don't have a physical PS5. That's not. I can't happening. even play physical games in that yeah. thing. You fool. Played yourself. I'm considering doing it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, tomorrow will be the ultimate test. If I'm sitting at home and I'm staring at my PS5, like, I can play God of War right now. Yeah. I got a, I got an OLED coming in. Do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. It should be here sometime between Wednesday and Friday. Mm. That's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. I'm going to be staring at it, waiting for Scarlet anything to Rag. come out. <laughs> waiting for the games. Mm-hmm. Hey, do some shit. Um, no, no God anyway, God of War Ragnarok, of course, drops tomorrow. And the reviews have come in. It got to 94 on Metacritic. That's pretty good, Mike. Yeah. That's a good score. That's pretty good. I, I, You know what's interesting? I feel like a lot of, like, there's there's just no controversy around this game and, and the team yeah. behind it. There, it is just a, an amazing game from a great studio. Yep. I, there's no that's way. It. Yeah. Like, that, that, there's nothing else that needs to be said. Exactly. 
Uh, a lot of the reviews are coming in. I've listened to quite a few reviews. I listened to the Minmax review, of course, the kind of funny games cast where everybody mm-hmm. reviewed it there. Um, I listened to the review from IGN on GameScoop. Um, and the consensus seems to be that this game fucking bangs. Um, that it somehow is a per- like a perfect sequel. It manages to put itself... Because a lot of people going in were like, okay, God of War, it's not going to be good enough to set itself apart from Elden Ring to be game of the year, right? Because you'll be like, mm-hmm. oh, this is a known quantity. We've played this game. It's just going to be more of that game, which isn't necessarily bad, but what will it mean for game of the year? And a lot of people are saying that, like, no, this thing actually does some, some newer, unique stuff. And that the storytelling is just, like, on 10, especially compared to the last one. People are saying yeah. the story is even even better in this one. And so I'm fucking excited to play this. Kind of Funny gave it a 5 out of 5. IGN gave it a 10 out of 10. Um, it's getting a lot of good, good-ass reviews, bro. I believe it. I, I will... Um, and I will be playing this. I, I think I might have to play this eventually. I'm going to be playing this. Because I don't feel like watching somebody else play this one. Yeah, it's good. I think I want to play it. Yeah. Um, no, but more importantly... Sonic Frontiers. Where are we sitting on that? Sonic Frontiers. Let's see. Let's check the metaphor, Metacritic. The Metacritic. Because that also that. comes out. Um. Yeah, it does. Well, it comes Metacritic. out what, Friday, right? Yeah. Metacritic. Sonic Frontiers. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Seventy-three. Better yep. than I expected. <laughs> Is it? Um. Yeah. yeah Wesson gave good. it a three out of five. He said it was a really good fun time, but three out of five. And he showed. Mm-hmm. They. Sh- I've been seeing clips of it. It looks like, you know, it's probably one of the, the better Sonic games. I Which like you I, know what that kind of quality yeah, is. Yeah, but I just feel like I don't... Like, looking at that game, I'm like, I, I don't know what I would enjoy about this game for more than It's not minutes. for us. Yeah. It's for the Sonic boys. Like, it I is. think Noah might 100% this game. Sonic, Sonic Frontiers. Frontiers. Exactly. Mm. That's what I told you. <laughs> Noah says he really wants to play it. But he doesn't want to spend money on it. Yeah, but... A lot of people mm. are saying it's good. Yeah, the streets... The streets, the streets are, are saying it's good. They're clamoring. Compared to most Sonic games. Of Sonic Frontiers? Yeah. Is, it, is the music goaded? It's, so it's Sonic. Yes. It's Sonic music is always goaded. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sonic music. You released yeah. 35 games. I hope some of it's good. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many Persona 5s there are? One. Two. Two? Well, I guess, yeah. And they're both banging soundtracks. So, yeah, no, I Sonic, mean, Sonic. That's 100% hit rate. Don't talk to me about Sonic. That's, that's probably like 10%. No, Sonic music is always good. Mm. It's always good. Running right. around at the speed of sound. Isn't it the TV show? No, that's not the TV show. That's the Sonic Adventure 2 no. battle, bro. Come the fuck on. Is that the, is that's the intro? That's the oh. intro. The very first one. Fuck yeah, so dude. Oh, okay. All right, name another song. Follow me. Behind, also by, besides Green Hill Zone. Name another song. <laughs> I don't know. I can't name the song. Bro. Yeah, exactly, bro. That doesn't mean shit. Nah, bro. I can't name a single song from like the fucking the the Persona soundtrack, but I know it bangs. But what are the songs called? I don't fucking know. They're just okay. good. Nice. <laughs> just good songs. Yeah. Okay, K O apparently vandalized. Mm. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Let's. Okay. We're, we're, we're skipping past that. Seventy three on that. Ninety four okay. on God of War. Of course. Which game should you play? It's up, it's up to you. It's up. It's up in the air. It's, it's up, up to you. Air. Tough choice. But um, one thing that I believe you should not play. We're gonna stay in the Sony realm. Is PSVR two? The date and the price have been announced officially. Mm-hmm. It will be coming out February twenty second, twenty twenty three, for a whopping five hundred and forty nine ninety nine USD. Big That's a bro. lot of dollars. Here's where I'm at. Five hundred forty nine dollars for what the headset is and the quality of the headset makes sense. But I got two two points. It's going to be a very fucking hard sell, considering that is more than the console itself, mm-hmm. right? It's also only works for the PS5. And the biggest point of contention for me is this becomes even more of a hard buy because your hardcore people who are going to buy the PSVR VR 2 are people who already own the PSVR 1, and none of the titles are backwards compatible with the PSVR no 2. No games. You cannot play a single game you already own in PSVR no no on the PSVR 2, which to me feels like the biggest blunder of all time mm-hmm. because this feels like an easy book. I own like... 10 PSVR games because I had a PSVR for several years like yeah. when it first came out and honestly I was thinking I might buy into PSVR 2 eventually mm-hmm. because I want to play the Horizon game and I want to play No Man's Sky in VR without having to do some bullshit with my PC and I thought that that could be really cool I also own that game on, on PlayStation but this thing is not backwards compatible in any way with any of those games I already have you know Moss any of those I have a ton of spooky games um, and that just that's not cool that's just bad yeah it is bad um, and so to me, this is a big hard sell. I think hardcore people are probably going to be like, why buy this? I can buy the quest for cheaper and mm-hmm. I don't even need the console or I can buy the vibe for a little more if I got a PC already and I still don't need to buy the console. Um, 
there's really no appeal to buying this thing really you get the horizon game which is exclusive to it and that's about it the resident evil 2 resident evil 4 remake thing is going to be on there but that's also on the quest 2 you can buy that there Mm -hmm. so to me there's no fucking reason to buy this when you could just buy the quest it has one cord it's more powerful than the quest and a lot of people are saying that the cord it doesn't really get in the way it's perfectly fine it also has eye tracking mm. to your eyes so you could you know you can play games like before your eyes if they put that in there and there's a lot of things with certain games in there that are coming out that are going to be able to tell whether or not you blinked um and that's really cool but for 550 dollars on top of paying 500 dollars for a ps5 there's that's a big there's just knock. no reason to be an early adopter on this i feel like nope like you can wait it'll probably get cheaper and eventually there'll be games on it yep. and that argument can be used for like anything mm-hmm. but it's extra here there's like no 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 fam it's more expensive than the ps5 yeah and i guess if you're considering buying it you probably already have the ps5 yeah right so you don't need that i don't know go buy an xbox exactly <laughs> go buy a vibe go buy anything more, else yeah. go buy an oled like there's just no there's way better ways go buy two switches go buy two and a half no almost three yeah if you do switch lights yeah yeah go buy a steam deck you can buy a steam deck yeah for a lesson i've the streets have been quiet on the Steam Deck. They have, because the Steam Deck's just a good, perfect thing. Is it? Yeah. People okay. love it. As an emulation machine, I want one. Do you think you'll ever do it? Do I? Will I ever buy one? Yeah. Mm, yeah, probably. M- maybe. Maybe not next year. Because mm. we're, like, we're trying to go to Japan. Wedding. Yeah. There's too much big money things coming up. I feel like it's too, up. like, the reason you have an Xbox and a PS5 and a Switch is to play the games that you can only play on there. Yeah. You don't have that desire with the Steam Deck. Well, I do can, a little you, bit, but like, it's not like you're missing out on something. Yeah, because there's a it's lot of to experience stuff that you probably have already experienced. Yeah, there's a lot of PC games I would love to be playing mm-hmm. on my couch. Yeah, and so that would be nice. And then also, I would like to be able to play if I, of course, own a copy of said game, mm-hmm. any like Nintendo game, make yeah. a Game Boy emulation machine, which people are saying, not even saying it is like you can look up videos of it. It is a god tier emulation machine for yeah. the ds for the game boy for the gamecube for like all that stuff it works fantastic yeah so i kind of want it for that because that would be very fun not something i would do all the time but if i ever get you know the itch to go back and play something mm. um that i of course already own yeah <laughs> yeah i can go ahead and go ahead and do that anyway don't buy the psvr2 do also it. apparently don't buy ps plus because playstation plus is losing subscribers they reported a loss of 1.9 million subscribers this quarter um, and and they have put out a metric that fifty five percent of their player base does not subscribe to PlayStation Plus. I wonder why. I would say the service is fine. I would say probably for two reasons. One, um, Game Pass just got you. She's fucking Game Pass. But yeah. two, I think it's their their big switch to this new PlayStation Plus model, and it's not. It's like we know kind of what it, what happens. It's confusing to us, and we're deep in the shits. Yeah. So it is definitely confusing to the average consumer. I had to do a bunch of Googling to figure out which tier my dad should buy so he could play the old God of War mm-hmm. without having to just straight buy the game. And I had to be like, like yeah, what it, these is, it is pretty confusing. And then also, I feel like it, th- the reason I think it's a good service, and that's it. Yeah. And that's what's stopping it from... It's not a great service. Yeah. The thing is, Game Pass, it's like, dude, if you're not if you're not buying Game Pass, you're not getting the full xbox experience that you yeah. should be having right yeah um yeah it's just too good game pass is just way too good yeah and it feels like a necessity along with owning the xbox yeah which is whether you like that or not that's how X- xbox has designed it and it works great for them there's, there's no way to you just should not like it <laughs> you can just play whatever the fuck you want well yeah for the guy sure. who plays 2k only maybe but then just don't buy it yeah but then you need to have xbox live so you go i don't know i don't know it's worth doing yeah, it's definitely I, I think worth. It's, I think it's obviously. I think it's worth. It. I don't know. I'm trying to find like a, a reason, like why. No, that's worth. It. It's always worth it. Bro. I think. I think PlayStation Plus is just not up to snuff. Yeah, I agree. Um, and that's it. I'm shocked how many people they're losing. Mm-hmm. That's a lot, especially with just more and more people getting their hands on the PS5. Yeah, and you're getting less subscribers. Yeah, a little strange. It is a little weird. Um, I think it's just because that new shit is super convoluted. That's not clear cut. Yeah, and I think what you're putting on the PS5 or what's what's on PlayStation Plus is not the demographic that's hardcore gaming that correlates to, like, Game Pass gamers. Yeah. I don't know. Like, you probably, if you care about all the old catalog of PlayStation, like God of War and stuff like that, yeah. you've probably owned all those games and yeah. already beaten them. There's there's no reason for you to really own PlayStation Plus unless yeah. they, they do some crazy... I don't know. I just don't think there's a reason to get it. No, I think I agree. 
I think I agree. There's nothing else to be said. No. Nothing else to be said. Don't buy don't buy uh, PS Plus. But keep buying Game Pass, especially right now, because it might be getting more expensive. Phil Spencer, in a recent interview with, I can't remember fucking who, he made a couple of comments there saying that the current price of Game Pass isn't really 100% sustainable for mm-hmm. the future and that it will probably have to get more expensive. Babe, shake the mouse. Babe, shake the mouse. Um, so there's that. I, um, I think this is to be expected. Yeah. Because every single day I look at Game Pass and I say, wow. I'm paying the same price for you, and you have gotten so much better today. Yeah, it's and then I look at it, and a week later, and I'm like, oh, there's these titles leaving Game Pass, and I look at them, and I'm like, that's fine. And then I look at what's coming, and I'm like, God, that's good shit. Yeah. Like Somerville is coming. That's gonna be super good. I can't wait to play that. Like there's every every time I go in there, I click the recently added, and I'm like, oh damn, this is nice. It's almost too much. Oh damn. It's this one of those things. Nice. It's it's I get stun locked because I open up Game Pass, and I'm like, I want to play five of these. I can't commit to anything here because <laughs> yeah. I want to play everything else. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's it's just such a good deal. Yeah. And because of how many ways they off also like offer, mm-hmm. like, yeah, go buy Game Pass on Black Friday, $25 for like three months. Yep. Stupid, stupid stuff like that. Stupid. You're like, I and that family well. pack that's about to come out too is going to be nasty, bro. I know. Yeah. I don't, the model's too good. Yeah. I, I love it. Do it, Daddy Phil. I'll pay more. Uh, yeah, I'll pay more. Oh, yeah. God. The family pass is gonna be nice. I can't wait for that. How how soon do we get cosmetics in my Game Pass subscription? I think that already exists, kind of like a Twitch Prime thing. No, no, no I mean like I want I want like UI cosmetics. Oh, that's what you mean. But yeah, I thought you meant like in game no, stuff because that exists already. I want themes and stuff, bro. Uh, yeah, theme, more more themes would be nice. That, like I want the I want <laughs> let's talk to Nintendo about themes. White, black. <laughs> that's it that's all you why do they do why it, is the section even they could have just called it bro. light mode dark mode bro. <laughs> yeah like why is it there it just um, that pisses me off bro oh I fucking hate it I hate it they should have at least made one other one and made it very exclusive and only like yeah you had to get it on a certain day cause then at least they could be like we did something with it yeah yeah god Game Pass just gets better every day when do you think Ubisoft stuff will get added to it when yeah like the Ubisoft word or that oh. little pack of the guy cause they did it they, it's supposed to be soon. yeah hmm That'd be nice. I don't know. The Creed games. You Do you think... Is it the type of partnership where, like, you think everything's going to be dropping there day one, eventually? <sighs> yeah. I mean, that's what EA did with EA Play. Yeah. Like, they're full. Full. Yeah, all the shit's on there, bro. Well, I know it's on there, but, like, day one. New I titles. Don't, I don't think it's day one, but you do get early access. That's what I'm curious about. I don't know. Ubisoft should be there pretty soon. Yeah. Not before the end of the year. Yeah. But maybe before the summer. Because I'm on there. Whenever the next biggest Assassin's Creed game comes out. Yeah. Assassin's Creed Infinite or... Yeah, a couple months before. Comes. Hey, get excited for this game. But also, you can play all the old games right now on Game Pass. Yeah, Go yeah. subscribe. You know? definitely, definitely worth. EA also, since all this stuff is on Game Pass, you know, they're also, you know, might get some of these Marvel games on Game Pass because they just made a three-game Marvel deal with I'm Marvel games. For this. So, the first game, of course, has already been announced. That is yeah. the Iron Man game yes. from Motive. We've already known that that was coming. And then, of course, there has been in leaks and rumors, and you know, all around the industry, people talking about a single-player Black Panther open-world game mm-hmm. that should be coming, and then some third Mr. Game that we have no inkling as to what it is. We do know that all three of these games are single-player, and we do know that the, they said the reason that they made this deal was because of how successful Star Wars was. And Star Wars, that, that doesn't make sense to me because... What do they mean? The EA deal with Star Wars... I mean, it, it probably was successful. Was it, though? <laughs> With Battlefront so, 2 and the loot box situation. I mean, it's all bad, but I, they probably still made money off that game. Well, of course they did. Dude, our, our guy, Tim at work, yeah. really, Tim, he loves that game. It's a good game. Here. No, it's quality. Now, yeah, nowadays, like it's, it's quality. Game. Yeah, I think I think they've repaired the situation there. And then you got, um, I mean, they got a couple Star Wars games coming out that are going to be... Yeah, Jedi Fallen Order and stuff. And uh, what's, the, what's the other one? Jedi Eclipse? something. No. I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's the Star it's Wars like, Eclipse? Yeah. yeah. That's not that EA, looks, I don't think. Is it not? Mm-mm. No. I don't know. There's a lot they could do. Yeah. Um, now, what I need is motive to hit up Bioware mm-hmm. and then just take the anthem flying the anthem flying and just put it in this game. And it'll be a good fucking game. I feel like we're... Are we past the point of bad flying in video games? Um, I think the Iron Man flying in Avengers sucked balls. I think... I think it was bad. I think just things didn't have an impact on that game. Yeah. Um, I think that game was bad. That game was bad. 
Just the gameplay loop was terrible. Yeah. But I think the flying an anthem is great. So I think you just bring that all over to an Iron Man game. I'm very excited for more Marvel. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, Spider Man 2 is going to be nice. Uh, Wolverine. Shit's going to slap. That's going to be so good. That's going to be very good. That's very good. I want Old Man Logan video games so bad. Yeah, that would be very good. Speaking of Marvel stuff and Marvel games, Marvel Snap has made $2 million in one week Mm -hmm. and is currently printing $330,000 a day. A lot of cash. That's some money. Hey, some of that money? Some of that money is mine. Yeah, I'm in that number. (laughs) A couple of those bucks? Those are some of my bucks. Two of those battle passes were me. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Marvel Snap, man. We're still playing it. It's still fucking good. It is amazing. It is well worth your time. If you if you have a phone, there's no reason you shouldn't at least download it and try this game. Here's the, here's the deal. If you like card games at all, in any shape or form, if if you ever thought, man, I like Hearthstone, but, but I hate it, but the the way Hearthstone works, kind of ass, or like, man, I like Magic a lot, but I just can never get the cards I want. Because collecting cards in Magic Arena is awful. Mm-hmm. Just come play Snap, bro. Yeah, dude. It's fucking easy. This, game, this game is amazing. It's a fantastic game. It's easy to learn. It's easy to understand. It's very accessible. It's very cheap. It's not pay to win. You don't. You can't just pay $5,000 and start well, kicking ass. We'll see how good Black Panther is. I don't think he's going to be that pass. good. I'm at But even if, even if the card in the battle pass is good, he comes out for free eventually later. And he's also just a singular card in the 12-card deck. Yeah. So you can't... Unlike in, in Hearthstone and those other games, you could just go spend $5,000 and start... St- you know, pub stomping maybe kids. Maybe it's the other way. At the maybe, other rank. Maybe it's pay to lose, right? Pay to lose. So you buy Black Panther. Mm-hmm. You're more likely to put them in your deck. Mm-hmm. All the people who didn't buy Black Panther are instead playing Shang-Chi in their deck. Yeah. And just destroying you every game. Yeah. So it's pay to lose, actually. Yeah, pay to lose. Same thing with Miles Morales. If you were running Miles Morales at the yeah. start, you were losing games. Yeah, yeah. So like it's actually pay to lose. Yeah. I've come I've come to my conclusion. Yep, 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 yep. And you can't really you you can't spend a bunch of money and just advance very far and unlock a bunch of cards. That's not possible because of the booster system. You can do it just a little bit every day. Yeah. You can you do it a little bit every day, but you have to play to unlock boosters. Mm-hmm. Um and if you don't play at all, you can spend a ton of money to advance very far, but you're you're limited because you can only buy so many credits a day. You can only buy so many um mm-hmm. fast upgrades per day. And so if you just played zero and only spent money, the rate at which you could advance would be very slow. And honestly, slower than a guy who didn't pay any and just played the fucking game. I got a question for you. What? You're in pool three. Yeah. Is it? No. Does it you're, you're playing against people who don't have full collections, but probably have a very sizable collection. Yeah. Does it matter? No. Yeah. I no. don't think so. It's not. I, I noticed that going into pool two uh, cards. Here's, I, here's why. I've been watching a lot of Snap content. One of the streamers I watch... Likes to play a lot of pool one, pool two decks to show people like, yeah, here's here's a deck you can build if you finish pool two. Yeah. And he's running it into complete pool three decks. Yep. And he's still saucing, folks. Mm-hmm. And his, the games he lose are not because his opponent's playing cards that are crazy. Yeah. It's because I played like ass or these locations that were very anti against my deck. Yeah. Stuff like that. Like the game is very like, yeah, you can't play all the cards you want immediately. But welcome to any online card game ever. Yeah. So, I I think it's very enjoyable. It's a great fucking game, bro. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll be playing some after this. Yep. The new battle passers drop. New season started. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I gotta get them boosters. Yes, sir. I gotta get them Black Panther boosters. Get that Infinite split. Absolutely. Mhm. You looked at your variants today. I haven't looked at my variants. We'll do that today. later. Yeah, I have to do that afterwards. I have to do that afterwards. Moving on to s- some sad stuff. This is really the biggest news <sighs> of the week. A moment of silence for. A fallen comrade. Mm-hmm. Nibel. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. <laughs> Nibel Nibelian on Twitter has quit. He's quit Twitter. Um, his reasoning was that it wasn't financially stable um, and that his Patreon didn't do very good and he realized that people didn't really want to pay money for what he was putting out. I uh, feel bad. I do too. Because I feel like I, I definitely saw the tweets were like, I'm starting Patreon, guys. Yeah. And I was like, eh. if I had known... Yeah, what was the comment? My actions results of not subscribing, I would have put money in that account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Nibel single-handedly um, runs this show. No, 100%. Uh, Nibel hard carries all coverage. If you you look at breaking video game news, nine times out of ten, the motherfuckers are citing. Nibel on Twitter tweets this, right? Mm-hmm. Be- some, nobody knows who Nibel is. She, he, they, do, no one has any clue. They're the Banksy of video game All we coverage. know, dude likes Mob Psycho. He, yeah, that's that's it. it. That's all we know. And um, that somehow they're on the inside of every fucking breaking story. They're there 
you know, 10 seconds after the story breaks, shit's mm-hmm. getting posted. I don't know. Crazy. Yeah. And I'm I, so sad about this. And what sucks the most, right, is he's going to do something else. And I can't support him in that either. Because we don't know who they are. But I don't know where he's going. Yeah, exactly. If he was like, I'm going to YouTube full time. Yeah, I'll go. I'd be like, let me go subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, yeah. I, but I can't. Yeah, no. I feel like I, I feel like this is my fault. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah, I feel it's all it's everybody's fault. Feel we could have we could have fixed this. Yes, yeah, so we could have subbed to Nivel's Patreon and, and prevented this from happening. <sighs> Damn it, man. Yeah. We lost a real one. Well, I'll we lost, all that's left is Mario sixty four. I'm not, bro. No, he doesn't do it like Nibel, bro. I can't. Who's gonna fill the void? Will anyone fill the void? I don't think they can, man. I the thing is, I feel like it's Nibel's the, trade secret is he's probably been doing it for a long time. Yeah, longer than I'm aware of. Yeah, before, before way before we got in the game. Yeah, and he probably has connections. Yeah, I don't know if there's somebody else like that who has those kind of connections and has that an- anonymity. Right? Yeah, there's anonymity. Word? Anonymity. Um, I don't think it can happen, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't want to put... Your time to shine. No, I'm not doing it. Fill those shoes. Can't be me. <laughs> um, but, like, you still have people who break news. Like, you yeah. know, you got Grubby. Grub. I mean, down with Grubby. Trier. But, Trier. But it's like... that. Daniel these are like, They work for the big dogs. Yeah. It's not Nibel. We don't even got Slasher anymore. No. Dude, Slasher. <laughs> Take me back. Yeah. <laughs> this Which, is just tragic news. Yeah, no, it's terrible. I'm sure... I'm sure somebody will eventually rise... To the to the mantle. I doubt it. I think somebody won't. There's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of people trying. Mm-hmm. Cause I. But Nibel was just ah, perfect. Yeah, I know. Nobody did like him, bro. It's like I, an industry vet. I can't believe you didn't have him on tweet notice. Yeah, I I did. Absolutely. I had him on tweet notice for for two and a half weeks, and then he's gone. It wasn't even, it wasn't even that much. Yeah, it wasn't that long. Wait, you you put him on two and a half weeks before? Yeah. After I said something? No, yeah, like right when you said something, I put him on tweet notice. Yeah, I was like, dude, you should and then definitely. And it was, it, was, it was shortly thereafter. Because he doesn't abuse that power. No. He knows. He knows. Yeah. These people yeah. are here for me. He's also funny. He is funny. In the com- in the replies, dude's, always dude's the, the, gaffing and gabbing. Yeah. A unique character. Gone gone forever. Pour one out. Where, wherever you are, Nibel, we support you. I'm putting him in the thumbnail, hoping he watches this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, one final news story before we move on to some other stuff. The Witcher 1 is going to be remade in Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> That's how you feel about that? No. Yeah, I don't really care. I couldn't tell you a single thing about The Witcher 1. <laughs> no, me either. To me, Witcher 1 is Witcher 3. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I know nothing. Yeah, I don't know shit. Yeah, so there you go. Get excited for that if you are excited about that. Before we get into this week in gaming, a little bit of housekeeping for you. Let's housekeep. If you enjoyed this show, you should consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash synced up, where for $1, you can $1. get access to our lovely Discord, where we'll be talking about the Battle Pass and things happening in Marvel Snap for days mm-hmm. to come, or how I watched All Quiet on the Western Front, which I'll talk about that next week. Or for $5, you get access to that their discord and the post shows of all the shows that we do and many more goodies all from youtube.com slash think that podcast and podcasting services around the globe Globe. new episodes of this show specifically go up in all those feeds tuesdays 7 a.m central Central time Time zone gang Gang. you can also write into this show to sync the pod no you can also support us on twitter (laughs) at sync the pod keep up the date with all of our content from across the big old board chance says you ever miss yakuza because same never yeah never i don't can't be me chance i'm gonna keep it keep it a buck i don't that man is playing Persona, and the whole time he wants to be playing Yakuza. Yeah, instead. It's, it's kind of a wild. That's it's wild. No, I understand it, dude. The dude, I, I get it. It's Persona, not scratching the itch. <laughs> <laughs> let me um, let me hit this day in What's gaming. Doing? It's time for this day in gaming. You know yeah. how it goes. I got. I'm pulling it up now because I didn't write it down before him. So we're gonna pull it up on the web site. Okay. You no just tell me the November. Seventh is where we're starting this bad boy. So let me, let me go to November seventh. As a day, mm-hmm. the website is not loading. Okay, there it goes. November seventh, two thousand and five. Guitar Hero one. Mario Party seven on the GameCube. Two thousand five. You already had Mario Party seven. That's kind of it's kind of nuts. Call of Duty three drops in two thousand and six. Gears of War drops in two thousand six as well. Guitar Hero two in two thousand six. Just a, one year later. That's mm-hmm. that's that's very very nice. That's that's very very nice. Oh, quick on that. Gears of War two in two thousand and eight. Horizon Zero Dawn the DLC in twenty seventeen. Um and Sonic Forces in twenty seventeen. Um, never 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 uh, played that. The original Counter Strike in the year two thousand on November eighth. Gun in two thousand and five. One of my all time no. favorite games. Why are you saying no? You never even played. You don't even know that fucking game. I know that you. 
I love that game. I can't explain it. But it's one of those those games that the case is so yeah. ingrained into my brain. Wait, you never played it? I never played it. Yeah, I bought that. So I have a unnecessary hatred for it. I bought that whole at the bargain bin for the GameCube. Played mm-hmm. the shit out that game. No, I hate the yellow. That's the a, yellowish green on the Yeah, no, that's, that's a so good, gross. good quality game. And then some game called The Movies in 2005. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Shout Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 dropped in 2011. Mm, that was and uh, Death Stranding in 2019. November 9th, you have Halo 2 in 2004. Oh, Jack 3 in 2004. The Herbs, 2004. Sims in the City. Played the, the shit herb, out of that bro. game, dude. I played that game so much. Viva Pinata in 2006. Call of Duty Black Ops 1 in 2010. Uh, 2015, you get Fallout 4, which is pretty quality, pretty quality. Tetris Effect and Play- and Hitman 2 in, in 2018. 20, uh, Tetris Effect? That's a good game right there. Mm-hmm. That's a good game. November 10th, Call of Duty World at War in 2008. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 in 2009. Dragon Ball Raging Blast, do you play that? Actually, no. Okay. That was right after um, like all the Budokai Tenkaichi stuff, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I missed it. Okay, okay. Rise of the Tomb Raider in 2015. Dishonored mm-hmm. 2 in 2016. Assassin's Creed Valhalla in 2020. The Series X also in 2020. Forgot that that dropped the same day as uh, Valhalla. That was, the, that was the first game we all played on that. Bad boy. Yeah. And first Yakuza Like a Dragon in 2020. I started with... I started with November seventh, so I'm trying to I'm trying to keep track of the days. I'm on mm-hmm. day four. I'm on day four. Um, in November eleventh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii in two thousand and nine. Sonic Colors in twenty ten. Skyrim in twenty eleven. That's eleven eleven eleven, baby. You know how it goes. Poggy. You know how it goes. Assassin uh, XCOM one in twenty thirteen. Assassin's Creed Rogue and Unity in twenty fourteen. The Master Chief Collection in twenty fourteen. That's a quality. Mm-hmm. That's quality right there. Mm-hmm. And then in twenty twenty, you get Demon's Souls on November Demon's 11th. Souls. Moving on to November uh, 12th. If it's it'll, day six. If it'll, if, it'll lose, if, it, if it'll load, it's day five. No, oh, six. Not. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you. Um, 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 scrolling here. Black Ops 2 in 2012. Bops. Black Flag in 2013. Pirates. Battlefield 4 in 2013. Destructible. 2K14 in 2014. <laughs> Basketball. Warframe in 2013. Nerds. Um... Uh, br- br- Astro's Playroom in 2020, Godfall in 2020, Miles Morales in 2020, Sackboy, Big Adventure, Devil yeah, May Cry yeah. 5, and the PlayStation 5 all in 2020. Yeah, big That's day. a big day. Big day. Big day. And then Battlefield 2042 in 2021. Boo. Stinker. Yikes. Yikes. This is the last day right here, right? The original Assassin's Creed yeah. in 2007 on November 13th. Crisis in 2007. Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, 2007. That's good mm-hmm. shit. That's good shit right there. That's okay. That is good shit right there. Black Ops 2 in 2012. What? Yeah. No, you really said Black Ops 2. Did I say Black Ops 2? Maybe that was some weird maybe that's some weird PC release. I don't know. I don't know. See, it's hard to decipher on this, yeah, on this I website. I got that's you. why I like that's why I write it out usually. Cold War in 2020. Oh, and the Reignited Trilogy in 2018. That's this week in gaming. That's not a bad week. No. It's, it's not a bad it's week. Peak season. Yeah. You get the triple A's. You been playing anything? Besides Marvel Snap? Some Overwatch. Just yeah. More of the same. same. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Ain't played anything different. No, that'll change. I It'll will change be playing soon. God of War. So It'll God of War, soon. I will be talking about next, next week. Next week, there will be so some much. new stuff to talk about. If you're tired of hearing about Overwatch and Marvel Snap, yeah. Which, frankly, I understand. That's cool. That's cool. Not tired of talking about it though. No. Not tired never. of playing it. Never. No, sir. Now it's time for no Reader Mail. Plans. You can get your questions right on the show by writing into SyncedUpPod at gmail.com or the Reader Mail submissions tab of the Discord with any yes, questions, sir. comments, or concerns. Just like Lyle did this what week. What did Lyle say? Hi, Synced Up Pod people. Hello, Halloween kind of sucks in Australia with barely anyone celebrating and only a handful of houses being decorated. Out of burp there. I went trick-or-treating as a kid and barely anyone knew it was on. So let me live vicariously through you. What are your best Halloween experiences? Thanks, Lyle. What was it? And nobody knew it was what? Knew it was on. Oh, like, like it was happening? happening? Yeah. Yeah, no one Diving says, through no a window? After, after a dude with a chainsaw chased us. Was this just This was at, at like a random home? house and it, he's oh. talking about a car window. Oh. Okay. Yeah. With, were you, this is why yeah. you were trick or treating and somebody yes. ran at you with a chain. Yeah, from just a random house. That, it was uh-huh. very unsuspected. Yeah, did you at least get candy? Uh, Yeah. Okay, at least yeah. got candy first. Maybe I spilled the candy. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. I remember specifically some houses that it's were always like the chainsaw. I hate that shit. Super duper cool. Yeah. There was one house that always had, they had the smoke going inside their house. Yeah. So you would, they would open the door, the smoke would come out. And That's cool. They dressed up like a witch. Would... That's fun. Yeah, no, there was like lots of cool houses yeah. like that in Florida. Um, Personally, I'm not the haunted house guy. I've been to several haunted houses. I've been to a couple. I don't think I enjoy them that much. I have memories of working the haunted house. Working haunted house, yeah. My family worked a haunted house for several years. 
that, that one was, was fun. a fun time. That yes. was very fun. Um, Spooking people. I don't even. I don't remember a lot of my childhood costumes. Yeah. I what I remember more is my dad's costumes. Yeah. My dad had some really dope costumes. Yeah, my parents didn't do he shit. Was, he was a, a cheerleader one year. That's funny. Um, he was Nacho Libre one year. That's good. He had some good costumes. Yeah, I think I was a uh, Leonardo the Tur- Ninja, Ninja Turtle, Turtle once. Twice, I think I was that like two, two maybe three years of my life. I, Cause you, you know when you're poor. Yeah, you like, wear the same. Sorry, you gotta wear the same. I was Stitch off. one year. That yeah. was dope. That's good stuff. Um, I was. I know my laziest costume was uh, I grabbed the Guitar Hero controller. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. I was a rock star. Okay. My ninja costume. Well, okay, that's an adulthood and yeah. work. I don't. You said I wore that a lot. I wore that one time. No, because it was the it was it might have been two days back to back. I don't know, because yeah. it was when I was doing, uh, clinicals and nursing and stuff. Because I had nursing. scrubs, and you were an, and you were a ninja. Um, they were black scrubs. Mm. Yeah, you put you put a little belt on. You all sometimes of a that's all it takes, man. Yeah, it was easy. I, I doubt I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't have done that too. Like I would I would have dressed up as Nathan Fielder. That was and that's that extremely lazy, but that would've been good stuff. It's still good. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, I'm trying to remember if I, if I had any other. That's about it. Yeah, we when we were Wanda, Wanda and Vision, Vision, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was a pretty. Uh, that was a good one. The, a lot of face paint. Yeah, that um, painted up. That was fun. I remember that. We've done Jake and Amy. We've done. Is it? Those are the only two. Yeah. yeah. This year's costumes were pretty dope. I yeah. posted it in the Discord, so people got to see that. Of course, of course. You need uh, access to that one dollar. Yeah, one one smacker. <laughs> Patreon.com slash linked up. Um I think that's it. I don't think there's any other. That's all we got for you. That's the whole pod, bro. Long one. Thank what you for was it? Well, it wasn't, I don't think. It's only thirty seven. We're getting faster. Yeah, we're getting too speed. It's because I talk too fast, you know. Yeah. Perfect. Anyway, if you support us at patreon.com slash synced up for at the five dollar tier, you'll get access to the post show that we're about to do. Um, if you, so if you did back. that, we'll see you in a few minutes. Everybody else, we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching or listening to this episode of the Synced Up Podcast. Goodbye. Goodbye.